first thing I look at is to match the content and style with the reason that people are consuming it. So if we could take a look at, for example, people who are looking for a piece of content to immediately answer a question they have. And let's just use a spreadsheet as an example here. They want to know, how do I use this specific formula? Well, then compelling content is going to be short. It's going to immediately get to the point. It's going to answer their question thoroughly and let them get on with their lives. Now, another use case might be, I want to learn how to use a spreadsheet. Well, in that case, compelling content is going to be longer. It's going to be uh, multi-topical, broken into a number of different videos, and it should be taught in an interesting way. So that's the first thing, right? Is the content style or content um, the delivery match the reason that someone is watching it? The next thing is, does it have strong visuals that don't distract from the learning, but enhance it? So are we using things like graphics that have been developed in the video to underline the learning? Are we doing things like changing camera angles and perspectives to keep people engaged? You know, the average network TV show pro network TV program changes angles or perspectives every five seconds. Uh, often in educational content, we never do that. So, you know, the second part of the compelling video is really good video production. And the third, where appropriate, where the format allows for it, is to introduce the idea of narrative. Um, everyone relates to story, which is why you see on YouTube, even tech YouTubers and even how-to YouTubers surrounding and wrapping their how-to videos with a level of narrative to generate user interest, to generate some stickiness so they come back. So again, the three items we're really looking at is appropriate format, good production skills, and narrative.